I'm Kevin Cameron, and I want to talk about the real heart of the matter, the place where the chemical energy of the fuel is turned into heat to generate the pressure that pushes the pistons downward to spin the crankshaft. Here's a piston and connecting rod. You'll see that the crown of the piston has a complicated shape. It's made this way to provide clearance for the four valves as the piston comes close to the cylinder head at top dead center. The piston cannot touch the cylinder head or it would pound itself to pieces. But exactly where it stops has an important influence on the outcome. When the piston performs its intake stroke, the intake valves open and the piston moves away from the combustion chamber and atmospheric pressure pushes fresh fuel air mixture into the chamber. At high power, when the engine is really spinning over, intake air velocity is hundreds of feet per second, so there's really quite a lot of turbulence. That turbulence turns out to be very important to fast combustion. Why do we care how fast the combustion is? Because the longer combustion takes, the longer this surface and this surface are exposed to high temperature and the more heat is lost from the combustion gas and the more its pressure drops and the less power the engine makes. We want quick combustion, quickly com completed, so that the high pressure gas that's generated can push the piston promptly on its way. These clearance spaces for the valves exist because in order to get the valves open fully when we need them to be, they have to already be, the intakes have to already be opening before top dead center, before the suction stroke. That's why these deep cutouts are necessary. As the piston is compressing the fuel air mixture into a smaller and smaller space, the original hundreds of feet per second of intake velocity dies away from friction so that the motion of the fresh charge slows down. In order to speed that motion up at the last instant before the spark, we have what are called squish areas. These flat surfaces come quite close to these four surfaces in the combustion chamber at top dead center. And the mixture that is trapped between them is squished out of those spaces, which are therefore called squish areas, and it shoots in toward the center of the chamber, giving it a last moment squirt of extra turbulence. In a race engine, the clearance from here to here and from these side squish areas to here would be carefully controlled down to a very small number so small that if it were made five thousandths closer, you would see bright areas indicating some contact. We don't want any contact. But in a production engine, we can't bring things that close together because we can't guarantee that precise an assembly because how close the piston comes to the head at top dead center depends on the length of the connecting rod, the length of the crankshaft stroke, the height of the cylinder, the height of the piston above the wrist pin. What we don't want is tolerance stack up where an unfortuitous series of errors adds up to piston to cylinder head contact. So the production engine has all the features of the race engine, but they aren't pushed to the nth degree. Having a central spark plug and having the combustion chamber be just these valve clearance pockets means that this is a very compact, fast-burning combustion chamber, which is just what a sport bike engine needs.